import. And we're going to import that character one OBJ. If you've never used ZBrush before, you're in for a little bit of a surprise. But all you want to do, it comes in as what's called a tool. You just draw it out. And now immediately hit edit. And it's editable. You can frame it, do whatever. Now the next step is we don't really have enough mesh here. We're looking at a little over 27,000 K in polys. So let's go ahead and go to geometry. I want to divide this up to five levels. Most of my work is going to be in three levels. But we'll be doing wounds, things like that on level five. So I'm going to go back to level three. And then I'm just going to maneuver this down to where I can use my control shift. And we're going to isolate the head because that's what we're going to work on mainly. Now, before we go any further, let's discuss a little bit about morphing. Some of you already know this, but some of you don't. Uh, let's take a look, go back down to Division 1, Level 1. This is the way it came in. Now, we can rearrange and we can do some work here. We just can't do a whole lot. But in order for morphs to work, they have to be the exact same poly count. In other words, a morph is two different models. Say like a model of a man with the mouth open and his mouth closed. And it decides which part of the model to display. Well, in order for it to work, they have to have the exact same poly count. But we really can't go in here at level one and make tremendous changes that will show up. We can make some changes, but just not, not really great big changes at it. So that's why we go ahead and we divide up and we work in like level three. What we're going to do with our level three and our level five work is we're going to create a normal map on it to put on the level one mesh. So what we're doing is projecting what actually looks like what's in the mesh by map. So we're projecting it back to the model via a normal map that we're going to create in ZBrush. So that is something that you'll see as we go on if you don't already grasp it. Now, since we're going to do a stylized character or a characterization, what we're going to want to do is kind of get a little radical with the design, a little more than just moving stuff around. So let's go ahead and go to Clay Buildup. We've got our symmetry on. Let's start here in the middle. You can always tell where you're at by when your two uh, symmetry brushes come together. And let's just roll that up like that. Now, let's come down here to the jaw. And let's go up and follow it around. Build up that chin a bit. Now what we're going to want to do is smooth it. I've got my smoothing set to about 38. In symmetry. And we're just going to work it in. Because we're going to continue to work this up. This is just kind of giving us some, some base structure in the face. And you notice we're working on level three. Now I'm going to increase the intensity so I can really work in this jaw. Pull it in. Now I'm just pulling the brow down a little bit. And you just keep working it till you get it to, to what you want. Now, if you want it to be a more square or a stylized, and by that I mean there's an organic stylization and there's a squared off stylization. So you can come in here to your flatten tool. And you could start flattening some of this out right now. And then you could come in with the polish tool and polish it. And you're going to get kind of a squared off result. But that's not what I'm looking for right here. I want to stay a little more organic. A little more rounded. Let's add a little more on the chin. Look it in. Now 
And this is how we truly get a custom character too. You notice I'm just adding mass with that clay tool. Every once in a while you'll see me back up. That's because I made a mistake. Hit the wrong part of the model usually. Now we could go on and do this for ages on end. But you're getting the idea right there of how to increase the brow and things like that. 